Hello everyone. Uh, uh, again, thanks for uh, uh, the opportunity to present the demo here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a um, community which we have built uh, for the community. Uh, before I start, a little bit about myself. I'm Sita Pagasya. I'm a Microsoft MVP in Microsoft 365 and business app category. Uh, these are some of the social handles through which you would be able to connect with me. I am also a very active uh, PNP contributor. Uh, so all these badges which you David was talking about, you can see I have kind of uh, almost a few of them. I have listed down few here also. So uh, today we are. I mean, before we jump into, I wanted to set some context around you know the purpose or the driving factor behind the app. Uh, so. Uh, I am part of a uh, uh, local user group, which we are basically running here at Pune, which is called Pune Tech Community. Uh, and uh, we are basically frequent organizer of you know, online and virtual events. Uh, mostly what happens is uh, there are few events which we do, which are generally free events. And we have our own meetup groups, wherein we get the attendees confirmations uh, what, who want to attend that particular event. Uh, but generally what happens is before the event date, like probably a week before or something, uh, we knew few of the attendees wouldn't be able to make to the event because of some other commitments. Okay, so as a part of the process, we once we knew that you know this has been a uh, frequent difference in the number of the attendees being registered versus the actual attendees on the day of the event, uh, we came up with a process of where we need to get some confirmation uh, from the uh, attendees. Uh, just before the event to finally get the confirmation that yes, we are going to be there. And then we also have our registration desk at the event where we basically, you know, kind of need to get their information to either share it with the sponsors or to have that information on who will have attended it. So as part of uh, organizing this kind of event very frequently, uh, I had an idea of coming up with an, uh, you know, app which basically would be a power apps. Uh, like using you know technology for technical uh, technical events, and uh, what we do is it will help us basically uh, get the attendees information in hand, and we use this registration, uh, we use this app at the registration deck to quickly basically get an instant check in of the attendees who are coming. We validate that information which is there, and also get the ad hoc registration there. So basically, able to streamline the registration process as such. Talking about some of the features or summary of the app. Uh, it has it is a very simple app basically, but an, an user friendly interface for you know event organizer to register the attendees. Uh, it basically makes the uh, process of marking the attendee presence at the event so that we can just say you know okay you have you have been present here, and uh, it has uh, search functionality for organizer where we can quickly find and manage the attendees information and they can also search for it based on the phone number email etc. Uh, we do also have an ability to scan the QR codes for you know, instant check-in. So if we get the confirmation again, I'll show you in the uh, later part of the demo. Uh, we have also some QR codes which we generate and we send them to the attendees uh, in their email so that they can come and then show the QR code and we use this app to directly scan the QR code and do the instant check-in. Uh, this app was kind of developed with community being in mind, you know, catering to specific needs of the event organizer and the attendees. Uh, but having said that, I think this app can also be useful for an organization who are also doing similar events at their places and their organization where they are doing small meetups or group meetups or some, some kind of events which are happening at the organization level where they have a registered attendees where they can use this kind of solution uh, to get the uh, attendees confirmation or attendees registration at the day of the event. Uh, plus, uh, I mean, as it is a power apps based solution, we all know, you know, it will be easily customizable. You can add your own registration field based on the event requirements which you wanted to do. And now coming to the solution, uh, the whole solution kind of uh, is developed using Microsoft Form. This is a form which we basically send for the uh, confirmation to the attendees. Then we are using SharePoint as data source. Uh, Power Automate, obviously, for the automation of uh, sending the emails, uh, doing some processing out of it. And uh, we are using Power Apps for the user interface to basically, uh, you know, search for the uh, users and then mark the present sector. Uh, for the uh, generation of the QR code, we are using an open source uh, free kind of uh, QR code generator, which is available, which you can find it here, which gives us an ability to generate the QR code using the API which they have provided. So, uh, sorry, 
Uh, yeah, so this is links to download. I'm sure David would post it in the chat also, but this is where the uh, whole solution has been exported. And this is the PNP list template where basically use the uh, simple schema of storing the data as a part of the uh, registration process. Uh, before I move ahead, I would like to uh, also thank, you know, the Pune Tech Community Organizer along with me, Nandeep, uh, Smita and Kunch, who kind of helped me uh, build this solution, also providing ideas around, uh, you know, what would be useful for an event organizer to build some similar kind of app. With that, I would like to go to demo. Uh, so. OK, so this is the app. Uh, I will just refresh the page. Uh, so what you would see is basically a landing screen or a splash screen. Uh, now we are actually doing a uh, global AI conference on 12th of December, which is next Tuesday. So we are preparing a similar kind of copy of the app for that particular event also. So you would see some references to the global AI conferences. Uh, the data here is kind of dummy, but at least we are kind of starting preparing to it. So this is the splash screen from where you can use your own images or screens to be added for related to the event. Uh, Scan now feature would basically take you to uh, if you are using a mobile. So what we do generally is we have either a laptop or also a mobile. Uh, so specifically uh, for the mobile part of the uh, app, uh, we have a screen which we have developed kind of uh, vertically so that uh, it can be used very quickly within the mobile interface also. But otherwise, it is a tablet layout. And uh, then this will be the dashboard. So what you see here is basically a list of all the attendees or, or the uh, interested candidates who have confirmed that they are going to attend the particular event. Uh, from here, user would be able to search for a specific name uh, based on the name, email address, and the phone number. So uh, different kind of search cap capacity is available. Uh, then uh, consider, you know, like you are at the registration desk and somebody comes. What we have to do is we have to just find a particular name and we have to just say mark your attendance. So once you click on mark your attendance, it will come up with are you a student or not. Uh, mostly in the Pune Tech community, we do get many students who attend our conferences. So we have this particular functionality where we check how many were students versus how many were the IT professionals. Uh, so you can just say either yes or no, depending on you know whether the attendee is a student or not. Uh, if I say yes, you know it will mark the present. Uh, now, if you see here, it will tell us the total registration count. It means total number of uh, people who have registered for the event, who have confirmed for the event, how many people are present today. Now, this is sometimes very useful be, to us as an organizer because we have to uh, uh, do some logistic works, you know, you know arranging lunch, uh, tea, and uh, seats also uh, to understand how many footfalls are there on the day of the event. And this data can all needs sometimes have to be shared with either the sponsors or we knew that who will have attended the information. So this helps us to keep the count. We make sure that everybody who is uh, there in the door of the event, including these uh, organizers, the speakers, the uh, attendees, we make sure that they do a similar kind of check-in from here so we know what is the total number of account. Now, there are also cases wherein sometimes we also have few people who would come ad hoc, who would have not confirmed, but they would have and uh, known, uh, uh, they would uh, know about the event on the last day, they would have not registered, and they directly come as in walking. So for similar kind of things, we have this registration form where you have to just, you know, put some names, email letters, contact, organization, uh, name, etc., and submit it, and by default, you know, they would be able to uh, register their itself. So this is kind of for the walk-in people who comes on the day of the event. So overall, this is how the app works. Uh, and uh, as I told you, scan now feature basically doesn't work here because we are in the desktop app, but otherwise in the mobile app, we would be able to scan the QR code. It will validate that particular QR code against an email address, and uh, then it will say whether uh, whether it will, you know, that user has confirmed their attendance or not, and then it will also allow to check in, and it will be allowed to make the attendees present on the day of the app. Uh, so this is overall a simple app, uh, you know, kind of uh, which would be helpful for the organizers or for the uh, on an organization also, as I said, for them to have a simple power app based solution. Uh, let coming to a little bit on the solution walkthrough. Uh, so, so this is a solution uh, like which includes all the apps. Uh, I mean, all sorry includes app uh, the flows which are there. Uh, 
uh, it has some connection references and it has the environment variable so that you know to make it dynamic so if somebody needs to just import this solution they just need to make sure that they are updating the environment variable and if the list schema is same it would basically be able to just configure the app easily into their environment for their use so coming to the flow um, what we have is we basically the first thing is what we do we generally send them this kind of survey form which is like when we ask them their confirmation that hey uh, can you please confirm whether you are going to attend the event or not you have already registered on the meetup plus we need the confirmation to uh, uh, arrange for the logistic and everything uh, once this form is submitted what we have is we have a we have an acknowledgement uh, kind of form where what we do is we kind of send an email to uh, the uh, people who have submitted the form. So this is a very simple flow. Uh, when a form has been submitted, what we do is we basically send an acknowledgement that, uh, hey, we have received your, uh, no, sorry, not this one. Uh, it should be, yeah, it should be this one. Uh, so this is where we basically uh, store the data into SharePoint first. So once the form is submitted, what we do is we uh, save this data into the SharePoint list. Uh, where we just create the item with all the responses which we would get. And then uh, once the item is created, what we do is we uh, receive that item and we send an email to the uh, attendees from here uh, saying that, OK, we have received your confirmation and we will let you know whether you had been kind of you know shortlisted or confirmed for the uh, registration or not. Uh, then what we will have is. Uh, then once uh, sometimes what we have to do is we have to shortlist because there might be people who might have uh, we, we might have got more than 100 of confirmations, but uh, due to the venue constraint, we might only be able to accommodate either 50 or 60 of it. So what we do is we basically kind of we as an organizer uh, uh, choose, you know, kind of few people with a mixed range of some IT professional students and somebody who are into that particular event. So if it is an AI related event, we make sure, you know, that people who are into AI basically would be able to attend that. And then for that, what we do is we basically uh, kind of uh, shortlist the candidates. Now, after shortlisting the candidate, uh, what we do is uh, once we shortlist the number of people which are there, so this is the flow. What it will do is it will go and find all the shortlisted candidates and then uh, it will. Sorry, again, uh, not this one. Yeah, this one. So what we do is we basically kind of generate the uh, QR code and send an email to them, uh, to the shortlisted people that, yes, uh, you know, this is your confirmation that you would be able to uh, you would you should be able to uh, attend the event. Uh, we generate the QR code and then uh, we save that QR code into one of the files. And then there is one more flow which actually sends the email. So uh, this is like four part thing. What we wanted to do is if at all we don't want it to send everything bulk because we might shortlist 20 people at a time and then another 10 people at a time. Uh, so we are not putting everything all together, but there are multiple flows which works together. Uh, and this is where I was talking about the API, which we call to generate the QR code. And once the QR code is generated, we store that QR code and send that QR code in the email to the users. And then they can come with that QR code or that email confirmation. And we use our app to scan that QR code and basically, uh, you know, able to make the uh, and, uh, make the registration confirm or uh, making the registration confirm for that particular person. Now, coming to the SharePoint list, uh, the SharePoint list is very simple. Uh, so if we see here, uh, what we have is we have a few uh, columns which we basically use to store the metadata of the registration, the email, contact, organization name, whether they have registered for in person or not. Uh, we also do ask whether they have subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, then their attendance, whether they are present or not, whether they are working professional. So these are typical metadata fields which we basically uh, store it as a part of the information. So whole solution is based on just one list. Everything is on one particular list. And on that list, depending on at what point in time, wherever we are uh, triggering or whether we are confirming that particular uh, candidate, a different flow would trigger and send the confirmation email. 
coming to the app and just walking through the screens which are available because uh, we wanted to use uh, we wanted to share this app with the community for the organizers uh, who are like us plus also to the organizers who can basically use this simple kind of use case to do the event registration uh, so this is the splash screen where we have just buttons and in the dashboard is where we have uh, all the most of the logic where in the gallery we are displaying the data from the sharepoint list uh, then we have uh, then we have the QR code pop up, uh, which basically kind of opens the QR code and everything. Uh, one thing which we are doing here is uh, basically masking the uh, email addresses and phone number. Uh, this might be a reason that you know uh, just to maintain the privacy or consent of the user, we just masking it. But otherwise, the feature works fine. Uh, masking logic is in a way very simple. Uh, what we are doing is we are substituting the email address. Uh, uh, by the second indexes and uh, before at the rate. So we are finding at the rate there. And so anything before at the rate and first letter and the last letter, other than that, everything would kind of become star. Same goes for phone also, uh, similar way. We are just replacing the contact number with two and eight. Uh, mostly as this is, uh, this kind of app would be used at, you know, at the places where they have mobile number, which is an 10 digit mobile number. You can use this similar kind of logic there. Then there is a scan screen. Uh, like on the scan screen, what we have is that on scan, uh, on scan event, uh, we have the logic where we are just hiding it, and then we are matching the uh, uh, email address, which is part of the QR code, uh, with the attendees and whether they have confirmed yes or no. And based on that, we are uh, specifying whether they are, they are a verified candidate or not, and then basically able to them to register themselves. So, so yeah, this is the, uh, and this is the mobile layout. Okay, so same screen, just copy it to mobile layout so that can be easily or easily accessible if we are using it from the mobile. And mostly scan now feature we are going to use from the mobile. So we have a separate screen specifically for that. So this is the uh, solution uh, overall, what we want, uh, what I wanted to talk about. Uh, again, as I said, you know, the idea here was to share it with the community and uh, use this kind of solution for the event registration process. Uh, it has helped us a lot. And uh, while we were also organizing the Gober Power Platform Bootcamp, uh, we have been able to share this with many organizations offline also, uh, where uh, on the um, Teams channel or on the WhatsApp group, where we said that we have similar kind of app. Many people have asked for the solution where we have shared with them offline. Uh, but using this platform, we wanted to kind of you know share it with all everybody in the community would like to use this solution and that's it from my side uh, david over to you mm -hmm.